lantern at night. Headlamps over there. It's a group that went ahead first. Started at 2.30. We started at almost 6 a.m. <laughs> Here in the Kawag Mountains in Subic Zambales, good weather, though we started late, so we're under time pressure. Uh, Kawag Hexa usually takes about, say the slowest would be 18 to 20 hours if you're hiking. Of course running is faster but there's so many variables. Uh, we have a cut off at a certain point, hopefully we can make it, but it's too early to tell. For now, yeah, we may feel confident, but not sure if we can pull it off uh, long term. Yeah. Fingers crossed, no one gets injured, no one gets cramped, or whatever can cause us delay. As the hiking community gained popularity over the years, more and more enthusiasts are pushing their limits. Groups of mountaineers and leisure hikers are stretching their itinerary to a much longer one from routes deemed as a multi-day hike affair are now being done within a day. This is mainly that people are getting fitter and the routes are getting more established. Kawag Hexa, or also known as Kawag Six Peaks, is a 25 plus kilometer route that passes through Mount Balinkilat, which is the highest and steepest part of the trail, then goes down to Mount Birabira, then the rolling hills of Mount Naulaw, then another big ascent to Mount Dayungan, then passing through the base of Mount Cinco Picos, then the last uphill to Mount Redondo, leading back to the trailhead. This itinerary consists of about 2,000 plus vertical gain and some challenge of hot and exposed trail and limited water sources.
our first real stop for hours um, from Summit of Malikilat. I was doing great. This is baptism of fire. 32 <laughs> km. Yep. Uh, I actually told him it, this, this is good for beginners. Yeah. So, uh, this is yeah. what you call Budol. <laughs> uh, we're worried about Bo. We can't see him even from afar. We should be able to see him because the terrain is bare. So, I'm not sure if he's just taking it too easy or he's suffering. Or the guide is suffering because I heard the guide didn't even bring water. <laughs> so, the guide is misguided. <laughs> So turn, it may turn out that Bo is going to guide the guide. <laughs> Got down uh, Mount Naulo. I uh, was just looking for the the water source. It's running out of water, but I think Clarice and and uh, oh, Herman found it over there. Whoa! Cooking up something new. Uh, nope. We can't find the water source, so we still have to wait for the guide. The uh, guide is way behind, and so is Russ. Uh, we don't know, it's gonna be a waiting game. Uh, what I'm fearing is if the water source is dry, we might have to abort, and which is also still a problem because it's still a long way back. Oof, tricky. Yep, so Herman found it. Herman the hero. We were waiting. Why we were waiting? He was back there, back here rather, searching for water source. Just probably uh, 50 meters away, down the trail. He heard some uh, stream of water, and then last, finally, because otherwise it's very crucial at this point. The future of our our trail here. <laughs> there, found it. Here's a uh, fun little stream of water here, deep enough for the oh, this is a insect <laughs> for the particles to settle down. Sediments over there, so it's potable enough. It's like a one tentacle it's a mystical. Of mystical, yeah. Russ is here. Russ will uh, detour to Cinco Picos with Kuya. The rest of us will be going up to Mount the uh, We got enough rest? 20 minutes, I suppose? More. Probably more. Uh, we had to wait for the water to sediment with the one that uh, Kirvin contaminated. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much blaming. <laughs> Summit of 
Langen Cove. Over there. So there's Cinco Picos. We're still gonna go down there. Go all the way there. Those are ships, cargo ships. So guys made it on top. Good Ooh. job everyone. Uh, Kervin's a bit struggling with lacking calories. Good. Yep, it is. Yep. Kervin's cramping a bit, but he's gonna recover soon. He's gonna soldier on. Let's cool down then we'll head down. Okay Kervin? Yep. He's a fighter. Okay. Here we are walking on a narrow ridge to Cinco Picos. It was a nice 20 minute rest. Kervin was still cramping. <coughs> so we're being careful. This part, it's hard to see the trail. Cliff left to right. But look at the view over there. Fantastic. We're gonna go take the easy route down. We won't go through the sides of Cinco Picos. We're just gonna go down here. Ta -da. Okay, we're taking a little detour. Just had a rest. Uh, some people are really tired, some are cramping. So it's best to be smart about these things. Uh, we had fun anyway. Paolo is a trooper, he enjoyed. I told him this is a big game shroud and he bought it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So on our way back to the flat section and uh, orienting ourselves with that on our left side. So it's easy to to tell if we are nearing the end point and spirits are high despite with a sudden change of weather cloudy hot cloudy hot uh, but we're confident we're gonna reach the end before nightfall
somewhere you feel free. Somewhere you feel free. 